Hello, all my replay viewers! Hello! And yes, I know they are not um, at a normal time. Well, I could tell you that's just because the news is that exciting today, or I could tell you it's because I have been a very, very busy girl today. I can't tell you quite yet, but I hinted a little bit last night that I had some exciting news I got today. So, let's just say I was tending to that. I will tell you guys as soon as I can, I promise. It'll probably be one of my News Bites headlines because I'm so excited about it. Ah. <laughs> All right, you guys, <clears throat> who's ready for some News Bites news? I just raised my hand, if you couldn't tell. Guys, come on in and um, it's been a while. Yeah, it has been a while since I've seen you. Hello. <laughs> Make sure you're following me, you guys. Invite your followers. We have got some interesting stories today. Um, hi, sustainably O. hello. We've got some interesting stories today, you guys, because you know it's 420 and you know what that means. <clears throat> so we've got some very interesting headlines that refer to uh, some companies and what they're doing about it. I just realized my mic is not on me. I'm sorry about that. Maybe you can hear me better now. All right, guys. Hopefully everybody who wants to come on in has come on in now. Make sure you invite your followers. And please, by all means, put your commentary on these stories in the comments because I've got to hear them. All right, let's get started. It is Wednesday, April 20th, 420. <clears throat> yep, we all know what that means. Um, so let's first, uh, thank you for inviting your followers so much. I appreciate that. First, let's go to some major news, you guys. Um, this doesn't have to do with 420, but we're getting there. Uh, I promise I will end with some headlines about that. But this is a very intriguing one. In major federal uh, national news, federal appeals courts ruled that public schools now must, must allow transgender students to use the bathrooms of their choice. Now we have been covering this story about how it's been, you know, um, you know, they had to use the one that their birth certificate showed and all this. Hey guys, thanks for joining. We're doing some news bites. I got some really great ones for you, especially 420 related. Stay tuned. Um, but yeah, so now though, the federal appeals court is saying schools have to? I don't know. I feel like that could, ooh, there could just be a whole lot of trouble going on with that one because um, I feel like a lot of parents are then going to be like, hey, my kid feels uncomfortable or, you know, things of that nature. Um, apparently, a Virginia ruling was the first time that the federal, uh, uh, that the federal appellate court ruled that, ti that the Title VI protects the rights of students to use the bathroom that corresponds to their gender identity. So they guess they found a loophole. Proponents of LGBT rights said that rule, the ruling could have, quote, major implications for North Carolina's law, also known as Bill 2. We've been following that as well. North Carolina said um, you have to use the restroom that, um, oh, you're so sweet, thanks. They said you have to use the restroom that your birth certificate indicates as far as gender. So that's the major news. We'll see what happens. Continue on. I agree. Let's go to number two, you guys. Here at home, a little bit of politics. Uh, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump both won big in the New York primary elections. I told you that that was coming up um, and it was going to be interesting. Well, it was. <laughs> in a blow to Ted Cruz, Trump cleared 50% of the vote, meaning he can now claim New York's 14 statewide delegates. Clinton's win in her adopted home state put a stop to Bernie Sanders. Um, and now, as the Vermont senator, um, he had won eight of the last nine Democratic uh, contests. So, I'm sorry, she as the Vermont senator. So, she won Vermont. We've got Trump winning uh, New York. Oh, we're getting interesting here. The race is getting good. All right, let's go on. I try to keep the poly... I, I know that I say on my lunch bites that my opinions come for free and my bias comes on the side, but I like to keep politics in the kitchen. So, let's move on to headline number three. Weird 
but true. So where's lunch? This is a little bit after my normal time that I air, but it's lunch bites because I want you guys to have really cool conversation starters for your lunch with coworkers um, in the carpool lane, uh, beep bopping on your normal day, uh, because some of these stories aren't what you hear everywhere, especially as I keep going. There's only eight, so we're not gonna be gone for too long. All right, so now we've got number three. Weird, but I'm telling you, it's true. Utah's governor, get this, signed a resolution that declared pornography a public health crisis. I just had to take a moment to ponder that because um, pornography is not something that I condone. However, I thought it was interesting to call it a public health crisis. Uh, the measure calls for education and policy changes to stop pornography exposure and addiction while the resolution which the resolution says leads to hypersexualization in teens prostitution cheating on spouses and other problems and that was reported by the times so it's trying to say that we want to diminish pornography because of all of these other issues um it could help I'm not sure how they're going to regulate it, so that'll be interesting. I'd love to hear more about how they're going to regulate it and how it goes over with the people of Utah. All right, let's move on from that one to number four, Say Yes to the Dress. You guys know that show, TLC. Christian Siriano is launching a bridal line. So if you check out Christian Siriano's Instagram after this newscast, you'll often scroll past pictures of happy brides dressed in one-of-kind creations. Despite the popularity of Siriano's looks among uh, those celebrating their nuptials, the designer never officially had wedding gowns as a category of his namesake label until now. So, uh, yeah. Now we've got another big name in bridal. So if you're getting married, check them out. All right, guys, number five is Tech Talk. You know it's my favorite. You know I love it. I am crazy. I love tech. So here's the exciting Tech Talk. Um, when will you work for ABC News in New York? As soon as you get me that job, uh, Dizzy Swish 21. <laughs> Counting on you, Jay, Dizzy Swish 21. All right, guys, moving on. Like I said, Tech Talk is number five. Apple's slimmer MacBook. So, you know, we've heard the MacBook is going to be slimmer and all this stuff. But what's kind of fun is that now it comes in all those great colors. I'll try. All right, counting on you, man. Uh, what all those colors the phones do. So it comes in a gold a silver, a space gray, and a rose gold. So uh, I know for all the ladies, uh, well, for me anyway, the rose gold one is, is what I want. Um, but I still kind of like that silver look for Apple. When they went from white to silver, I think it looked so classic. So it's very interesting. You like rose gold too? It's interesting that they're adding all these different colors. I'm wondering how it's gonna go over in the long run. Will it devalue the brand or will it increase the value? I don't know. All right, so guys, we're going to move on to number six out of eight headlines. We're just rolling through these. Hashtag major. Okay, this is um, one of the king of Snapchats, DJ uh, Khalid. Khaled? I'm not quite sure how to say his name, I have to be honest. Um, but I think it's Khalid. DJ Khalid, the king of Snapchat. Snapchat. I call it Snappy Chat so often that I can't even pronounce Snapchat anymore. Um... Thank you. Okay, you gave me the pronunciation. You rock. Um, DJ Khalid, he's the, uh, he is a rapper and a king of Snapchat. He will be part of Beyonce's Formation World Tour. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. It just made me kind of want to break into song there. Thank you, Jay Dizzy Swish 21. But yeah, so he's going to be part of Beyonce's tour. So, you know, everybody's going to know him now. Um, if you're wondering who's worthy enough to open up for one of the most anticipated tours of the year, you might be a little bit surprised that it is DJ, DJ Khalid. <laughs> all, I, all I do is eat pizza no matter what. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I want pizza now. Anyway, yeah, so that's who's going to be opening up for Queen Bee. The king of Snapchat is now linking up with the queen of... Well, most everything. Queen Bee. I mean, what is she not the queen of? 
So that'll be very interesting. It'll make for a pumpin' tour, I think. Pumpin'. Like, I don't know where I think I'm from. Some other, some other generation. But guys, it's gonna be a pumpin' tour. <laughs> All right, you guys, number seven and eight are the promised stories I told you about that have to do with today being 420. Now, let me just preface this. Um, yeah, it is. I want to go. I hope I get to go. But anyway, um, let me preface these stories by saying I do not condone the illegal um, smoking or uh, obtaining of marijuana but I'm going to report the news on it, okay? <laughs> just, just start to throw that out there. Story number five, seven. Ah, I'm getting confused. Story number seven. It's all about 420. <clears throat> and uh, here's your update. Here's all the states that have legalized weed. Yeah, that's the story we have today. Uh, this year alone though, here's what I found most interesting. This year alone, 2016, we're not even all the way through it or even halfway through it. There have already been more than 50 five zero legislative initiatives around the country aimed at legalizing or decriminalizing medical or recreational marijuana. Very interesting that they're including recreational. I understand to some extent medical, but recreational, whole nother story. So, you guys, there are five states. Drugs, not hugs. Well, I'm more into hugs. I'll give you a hug, no drugs. Yeah, there you go. Hugs, not drugs, people. Come on, come on. <laughs> All right, guys, there are five states where it is legal. We're going to run it down. We've got Alaska. We've got Colorado. We've got Oregon. We've got Washington and state. And we've got Washington, D.C. So there's only five out of 50. I mean, 10%. I think we're making too big a deal out of it, honestly. But I certainly hope anyone participating in the, uh, ch what I think are kind of childish escapades of 420, I hope you're in one of those cities. Otherwise, or one of those states, because otherwise, um, it might not end too well for you. I, I don't know. Just trying to keep you safe. Okay, so my, one of my favorite, you've never smoked and you're 24. High five, man. Are you following me? You better be following me, because I want to follow you. I'm following you right now, actually. So I hope that you're following me because I don't do that either. And I think it's cool when I find someone who doesn't. You're on Twitter and this. All right, well, make sure you're following me on Twitter and this and Instagram and Facebook and every other social media in the world, especially YouTube. I'm going to start doing some stuff on YouTube, guys. So it's YouTube slash Chelsea Roadman, just like on here. Find me on there and subscribe. Hey, Mama, thanks for joining. I'm about to do some really cool things that I don't want you guys to miss out on. Don't worry, I'm not going to leave you guys. I love you guys but I don't want you guys to miss out. Hey, hey, hi. So we're actually, Mama, you're just catching me on our last headline. You're probably, as a mama, happy you missed the last one. It was about which states um, marijuana is legal in because 420 is unfortunately known as, um, well, a day to enjoy that which is illegal. Who needs drugs? Amen, Jay Dizzy Swish 21. It's Mr. Peanut's birthday. He's 100. Hey guys, that's headline number nine. It's Mr. Peanut's birthday. Y'all should go out and have some peanuts. Like, don't be having all these drugs. We just talked about this. There's only five states in which they're legal, and most of it's probably medical marijuana. So, that's only a tenth of our nation. So, just don't be allergic to peanuts. That's a very good point. If you are, I don't know, get some milk. Have some good old milk. Oreos. Oh, Oreos. You could dunk them in the milk. Yum. Hi. Thanks for joining. Yeah, guys, just, just say no. Just, just let's go back and say no. Slam dunk. Yeah, dunk it in the dark. That was the best. I'm a PR person and that's the best thing they ever did. Um, after the Super Bowl power outage, you can even dunk them in the dark. I was like, brilliant. <laughs> All right, you guys, so let's move on to the last headline, and it does have to do with some alternative things that you could be putting in your mouth. It's a nami nami story. How about some Ben and Jerry's? I mean, you could get Oreo Ben and Jerry's, or you could, like, put your Oreos in your Ben and Jerry's. Like, totally. I'm all for that. Um, so, Ben and Jerry's will celebrate 420, but... Where's the Oreo pizza? Right? Right? <laughs> I like you, man. Oreo pizza. Oh, that sounds good. 
Um, anyway, it is 2016. Like, we're supposed to be on, like, flying aircrafts by now. Hoverboards and whatnot. Oh, well. Maybe, maybe Oreo Pizza will be here in, you know, the 23rd century. Uh, but Ben and Jerry's. So they are celebrating 420, which is odd because you think Ben and Jerry's, you think wholesome family, and then you think 420, and you think, um, not so great. Like, the day people are known to be, like, absent from work and school because they're high. Mm -mm. So, but Ben and Jerry's, I love this one. Ben and Jerry's is celebrating, and the way they're doing it is with a buy one, get one free burritos. Remember those? Do you remember? Um, apparently, it's like a dream treat, and um, I hope that I have broadcast this in time for you guys to go take advantage of it. So, since Ben and Jerry's can't legally distribute weed ice cream to the masses, obviously, um, not even in those five states that I mentioned uh, could they do that. Uh, the chain came up with a creative drug-free way to celebrate 420. Hey, Morocco, thanks for joining. Um, so it is with those burritos. That's how it's spelled. B-R-R-R-R-R-I-T-O-S. <laughs> burritos. Um, so they're back again to satisfy burrito and sweet treat hankerings all in one beautiful bite. So, I definitely think that that is, ha let's talk about it. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's talk about some going to uh, Ben and Jerry's to get some burritos and uh, some ice cream. Some, ooh, some Oreo ice cream. <gasps> so y'all, I want to leave you with that today. It is 420. It is Wednesday. But please, please go enjoy your day with some pizza or burritos or Ben and Jerry's. Please guys, please say no. Just say no to drugs. They're just not good for you, you guys. You can't enjoy my day. Your finals are coming up. Or Mr. Peanut. Exactly. You guys, you could go have peanuts as long as you're not allergic. Go for it. Just no drugs going on in here. It's not cool. I'm just letting you know, like some people think I'm a cool person, and I'm telling you guys, it's not cool to be doing the puff puffing and the drug drugging, okay? Just saying. All right, you guys, I know that some of you said that I shouldn't leave, which is really sweet, and it's a big compliment, so swipe right if you're on um, iOS or up or down if you're on Android. Please make sure you're following me. You can follow me on all social media, and especially YouTube, because I've got some special things coming that I cannot wait to share with you guys when I reach 10,000, or I'm sorry, 100,000 hearts. So, I'm going to say swipe like tender. <laughs> nah, maybe swipe and follow. You know, it's just swipe and follow. So I'm going to leave you with that, you guys. Go enjoy your Ben and Jerry's, maybe your peanuts, and say no to drugs. Bye, kids.